Welcome, welcome, welcome to the second video of Prime David TechWiser. To help you make the best buying decision, we are doing a series video on best neckband, TWS smartphones, and overall Prime videos. All for you in just one day. Like always, if you have any product buying question, you can reach out to us on twittercom techwiser or join our YouTube live tonight. In this video, let's help you buy the best neckband. Let's go. Now we'll start with the most basic neckband and move towards the best value for money neckband in this list. First up, we have Dizo Dash. Now, in case you don't know, Dizo is a sub brand of Realme. And personally, I feel Dizo products are like H&M basic t-shirt. They are functional, affordable, and does the job. But you don't get anything extra fancy design none of that let me show you what i mean first of all the diesel dash is cheaper than all the other neckbands in this list generally neckbands cost 1700 on an average these diesel dash cost around 1300 the design is plain and simple with some carbon fiber texture in the lower end of the neckband the plastic body at the bottom has three buttons power button in the middle and you get volume up and volume down on top these buttons also help you to skip a song and even activate voice assistant like google assistant or alexa if you prefer you can also control them through the realme link app which you don't get with other neckbands but honestly the app support is not a big deal in neckbands like every other neckband it also comes with a pair of usb a to type c cable in the box and two extra ear tips one large and one small thankfully all neckbands these days come with usb c port if i talk about the audio quality in simple words i can say is just Meh, fine. Like nothing great, but good enough for basic music listening and podcast. Battery life is decent of like 30 hours and you can fast charge in like 10 minutes of charge. You get 10 hours of playback. But there are a lot of features missing. Like there's no dual device pairing, no ANC, and even the audio isn't that great. Overall, if you're looking for a basic neckband at a cheaper price, this would work. But feature wise, there are a lot of options. So keep watching till the end. Next up, we have Boat Rockers 330 Pro. In case you don't know, Boat Rockers 330 Pro is Boat's most popular neckband. If you see here on Amazon, it has 82,000 plus ratings. Very popular. Now, this is the only neckband which has media control on the wire. Usually, most neckbands have these on the neckband stem. In the start, it felt annoying, but once you get used to it after a while, it doesn't matter. Another thing that separates this neckband from the rest is it has 60 hours of battery life. Usually, you get 12 to 20 hours in this price range, so this is like three to four times more. I tested it for five to six hours for a few days and the battery is still 90%. So yeah, battery claim is pretty on point. Moreover, you also have fast charge. So if you charge it for 10 minutes, you get 20 hours of playback. Now, this is quite a useful feature. It's like when you have your online class or meeting or you just have to go out for a run and a neckband is discharged, empty. So you can just charge it for two to three minutes and the neckband will be good enough for next three to four hours. Now, one of the highlight of the neckband is dual device pairing meaning it can connect to two devices say your laptop and phone at once so see here i'm playing a video on my laptop and the audio is coming through the neck band and hold on now i'll receive a call on my phone uh, yes, here. And now if I pick up the call, see, the board neckband is connected to the phone and I can take the call through the neckband. And this is a super useful feature, usually found in expensive headphones. But here's a small problem. Now see, the neckband is connected to the phone, but the video is still playing on the laptop. You'll have to manually pause it. In ideal case scenario, this shouldn't happen. Now, the audio is just decent. It has the same problem like you get with other average audio product. Bass is super heavy, like Bacha Ke Gaane sounds awesome. Vocal isn't very clear and at high 80% to 90% volume, the audio distorts. Overall, it's for people who are looking for features more than audio quality. For example, at this price, you don't get 60 hours playback, fast charge and dual device connectivity, etc. all of that. But audio quality isn't that great. Next up is noise combat. In terms of look, this neckband is quite distinctive from the rest. I mean, the neckband not only has a gaming vibe to it, but here's the thing. Like, it has this blue lights coming out from the ear, from the stem, all the earbuds. Now, some people might find it cool, like if you have a RGB gaming setup, and others like me would find it kind of tacky. So you will have to decide how you feel about it before you buy it. Fortunately, there's an option or there's a button to turn off the lights over here. Also, this button acts as a dedicated gaming mode button that reduces latency to 45 seconds. Now let's put it to test in BGM, my friends. Now, for people who don't know, every Bluetooth audio device has some latency. Like here, let me show you. Like see here, the moment I hit fire, see, you'll hear the audio a bit late. Here, once again. Now here comes low latency gaming mode. Let me turn it on. Now what it does is it decreases the audio quality a bit, but also brings down the latency. So now if I hit fire, 
See, the audio lag is reduced now. Now it also supports dual pairing mode which means you can connect to two devices, say your laptop and phone at once. But unlike the boat ones, this one does pause the video on my laptop if I get a call on my smartphone. That is nice. I did took few calls with this and we'll come to the call quality test in just a moment. Now if you listen to a lot of maximalist song where there is so much happening in the song like Ahu Ahu from Love Aajkal, anyone remember the movie? You simply could not experience those songs properly without good sound stage neck bands and surprisingly the noise combat has good range, like wide hearing. Rest, everything is basic, like 20 hours of battery life. Although practically, you get 10-20% less depending on the volume you listen on your earphones. It also has fast charging, where you get 8 hours of playtime in just 8 minutes charging. Overall, if you're looking for a neckband, mostly for audio quality and you game a lot, this is the only option and both guns. Next up, we have OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z2, which is the new version of the popular OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z series, of course, from OnePlus. And in a way, I feel it's just an incremental update over that. One thing that you will find here, which is missing in other neck bands is, hold on. These neck bands can be powered on, power off by simply separating these two buds, like see here, on and now off. This is quite handy as you don't have to manually turn it on all the time. But at the same time, these neck bands also attach to each other this way. Like, it's funny. Like one day it was in my back and I picked up a call and the call went through the neck band. So even if accidentally the buds get separated in your back, the neck band gets connected to your phone. This magnetic on off is also present on the Dezo dash. Another thing that separates this neck band from the rest are 12.4 mm drivers, while others have like 10 mm drivers. But now you'd be like, Pratik, do larger drivers mean really good audio quality? Well, not significantly. Ideally, bigger drivers can give more bass. And in my experience, these are more punchy and clear compared to other neck bands in this list. But that sound stage and wider hearing is missing. Just like all the other neck bands, it has fast charge. So a 10 minute charge can give you 20 hours of playback. And in total, the battery lasts for like 30 hours, which is what you get with most of the neck bands in this list. Now, call quality was decent enough, both indoors and outdoors. Hang on, here's a call test on all the neck bands. So this is the audio from the noise combat and a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. So this is the audio from the Dezo wireless dash and a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. And this is the audio from the OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z2 and a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. Okay, so this is the audio from the Boat Rockers 330 Pro and a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. Okay, let me know in the comments which one do you feel was good, but in my opinion, the Dezo and OnePlus was better than the other two. Overall, these are decent pair of neckbands with good audio quality, although you end up paying 200 to 300 more than other neckbands just for the OnePlus brand name. But if you ask me, it's the same as OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z and for the price, they should have added extra features like ANC or dual device pairing etc. Now lastly, my favorite, the Oppo Enco M32. Now in case you guys don't know, it is an upgrade to the older Oppo Enco M31 which we at TechWiser and you guys really love. It was an excellent sleek neckband for the price and had really good sound quality. Now this Oppo Enco M32 brings really small improvements to the older M31. Number one, you get 28 hours of battery life compared to 12 hours of battery life that you had on the Oppo Enco M31. Number two, you have a small flap over the charging port on the Oppo Enco M32 which in the older version it was open. So now this has IP55 water resistant which is better. Number three they have brought down the codec support which a lot of people didn't really care about hence they were able to bring down the price to 1499 during the sale. One complaint would be they could have added dual device connectivity on the Oppo Enco M32 as of now, you have to pair it to two devices and now you can see it is connected to my phone and now when I press the volume up and volume down button at the same time, it switches to my laptop. And see again, I do that, it switches back to my phone. All in all for the price, it is still the best sounding neckband. If you want something for good audio quality, this is a good one. Now, in case you guys don't know, Oppo started off as an audio company and they make really good audio products. Now, finally, to end it, if you're looking for gaming, Noise Combat is the best choice. If you're looking for basic neckband with decent audio and no fancy feature, then Dezo Dash is a good option. If you're looking for feature-rich neckband with big battery, dual device pairing, then Boat Rockers 330 Pro is a good option. And finally, if music is your priority, then Oppo Enco M32 is the way to go. And here's our gadgets under 1000 video. You can check that out. And we'll be dropping more videos tomorrow for TWS and best deals at midnight. So this is Pratik signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew.